Hi, my name is Chris Nichols of the Deep Creek Lake Lions Club. We've got a great project that we would like your help with. Hopefully it will help you burn off some of this cabin fever and has some educational value too. So the too long, didn't watch the whole video version of this is we will send you one of these 3D printed panels of local figure meshic browning and we want you to paint them and return them for us to assemble into a community piece of art. So we will send you this panel along with a pre-postage paid addressed uh, envelope for you to send it back to us. You'll also receive a, a little mini figurine of Meshic Browning. This one is yours to keep. And you'll also receive this brochure uh, that gives you a little history of Meshic Browning and also includes a map of locations around the county that you can use as the basis for a driving tour or just to learn more about uh, his life and times uh, throughout Garrett County. So that is the short version of our pitch. Here's the rest of the story if you want to find out more about the project. So one of the best kept secrets I think in the county is the Deep Creek Lake Lions Club Park on Bumblebee Road. It is uh, essentially between the college and the Hart Center and the airport. And it is a open to the public community park. It has a ball field, a picnic pavilion with restrooms. Uh, we have a dog park there for fencing areas for both large and small dogs. We have a uh, art installation of pieces that have been created by our blind skiers and blind campers. Lots of open space for kids to run around and play some sports on. And right now what's uh, been a, a great resource lately has been a, a little free library and little free pantry for uh, those in need who can uh, go find uh, food resources if they are uh, having troubles right now. So those are all great, excellent resources that are open to the public and available to everyone. Uh, what's relevant to this particular project is we also have a trail system and historical exhibit that is themed around the life and times of Meshik Browning. And if you're not familiar with who he is, he was one of the first settlers of what would become Garrett County in the early 1800s. And he also wrote a book entitled 44 Years of the Life of a Hunter, which uh, mainly is a story of, of his hunting expeditions uh, while he was settling Garrett County, but also provides a really great uh, chronicle of what life was like in the early 1800s in this area. So as I said, we have uh, the 10-mile trail system. out. Uh, that's The trailhead is out at the park. And we also have those historical panels that provide you know some information about uh, his life and some quotes from his book to to give you some more uh, perspective on what it was like to to settle Garrett County. Uh, also, part of that area is we are developing a outdoor art installation that's also themed around him. Our first piece in that installation was a chainsaw carved sculpture of Browning that was created by Jessica Spiker. Uh, we'll very soon be receiving delivery of another piece of work that is a scrap metal welded sculpture of uh, a hunter and uh, a deer that's being created by Joshua Signs. And what's relevant to this project is we are creating a community developed uh, piece of work that's also based around him. So we received a grant to uh, get these 80 of these 3D printed panels created. So the goal is to have community members paint these panels, which we will then assemble into a mosaic at the park. So everyone can come and view uh, both their own pieces that they've contributed and also ones that um, other people have put in as well. So it is a piece of work that um, anyone who's interested in the community can contribute to. So let me give you some examples of finished work. So this, I would say, is probably the gold standard of uh, you know what, what someone could create with this. Uh, a woman in Ohio painted this one and another one I'll show you. She is uh, a, actually a descendant of Browning. 
I'm sorry the text is backwards on this, but she actually documented the whole family tree, um, the, the whole line of descent from Meshach Browning to herself. Um, she also painted this one. So I was pleasantly surprised when I sent these away and, and they returned amazingly well done. So this is absolutely, I think, the, the, the highest standard of, of what you know you, you could produce. But let me show you my contribution. Um, which, you know, as I said, is you, these don't have to be masterpieces. Um, I'm not the greatest artist in the world. And I also wanted to show you that uh, you can kind of make these whatever you want. So I'm a, I'm a nerd. I like space stuff. So I decided to make mine of Meshik Browning in space, his dogs, and here in little space suits. And there's some sort of weird space thing. I don't know what that is. But, um, you know, yeah, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. But what we want it to be is... Uh, your own statement, you know, something that is unique to you, um, that is your contribution to this project. As as you saw in this one and the other ones, there's a little uh, placard for you to put your name, so you can put whatever name you want there, it was as much identification as you like. Um, and, you know, the, some, some guidance on painting these. Uh, Sharpies work pretty well on this material. Um, I spray painted the background of this black, um, painted some of the details with... Uh, permanent magic markers, Sharpies, and then just some craft paint um, with some of the other details as well. So uh, I don't know that watercolors would probably work very well, but anything that's kind of like a, you know, any permanent marker, um, you know, any sort of like regular like model paint or craft paint, I think uh, works pretty well on these. Uh, so just to stress again, they don't have to be amazing works of art. We just want them to be your own contribution um, and your own personal interpretation and, and what the goal is is that someday you know maybe you your kids your grandkids you'll take them out and uh show them you know out to the trails and show them hey this is the, the little piece i did um back in the day so that is uh that is the summary of the project um as i said for you know once once you've done your your masterpiece you may be a little reluctant to let it go so this is yours to keep. You'll also get one of these little mini figs, and you can uh, paint that or just keep it or do whatever. Um, but it's, it's kind of your thing to keep, your reward for the, the project. And also, as I said, you'll get this brochure um, that has a little bit of information about Browning. And then with the map in there, and the map has the locations, general locations. There's no markers in the real world that are that are... Um, tied into these but you can go and each of those markers has a spot a passage in the book that it refers to so you could go and find a spot um, park your vehicle and then if you go to sorry it's backwards but if you go to www.meshik.org there's a link to a an electronic version of the book so you could go find that passage read it aloud or just read it to yourself while you're parked at that spot and many of them you know especially ones kind of in the state forest or you know just some of the ones um that are you know off the beaten path a little bit give you some really good feeling of of what it was like in garrett county in those days um so that's another maybe maybe way you can still maintain your social distancing and uh get out and beat the cabin fever bug that you may be having uh, just a couple of final notes. Um, first of all, your, your safety is, is paramount in this whole project. Uh, we certainly don't want to do anything that might uh, introduce any risk, but uh, according to the last guidance that we read on um, from the United States Postal Service site that's backed up by the WHO and the CDC is that there's no evidence that uh, the mail is a transmitter of COVID-19. So we will definitely be sanitizing these all this stuff boards before it goes out um and it certainly couldn't help to give it another shot once you get it but uh as far as we know there's there's no indication that this could be a potential vector for transmission of the disease so if anyone is aware of different guidance please let us know but um you know we certainly want to keep everyone safe but then also provide some uh means to help uh Alleviate, alleviate some of your boredom and, and have some educational aspect to that too. So that's the first point. And the second one is, is if you are interested, please make sure that you feel like you can follow through on it. Um, since we're having to mail these instead of do these in person, 
Um, we only have a limited stock of, of these panels, and now we'll be using a good bit of the rest of our grant budget on postage, so we don't have a lot of money left over to buy replacement ones if people decide they'd like to participate and then end up not painting a panel and it just sits at their house. Um, but I do want to stress this is all free. Um, the only cost incurred for you is just to find the paints or markers or whatever you want to. Stickers also would work well. You so if you have little stickers you could put on there. Um, that'd be cool too. But however you want to decorate it, um, that's the only cost that's incurred. And let me tell you, while I was painting mine, it was also a good way to find all the bad paint that I'd been storing that I opened up and, and wasn't good anymore. So it's a good way to go through your old paint collection that you have from different projects. Uh, so that is all from us. Um, if you have any questions or you want to participate, um, we'll put the email address that you should contact at the bottom of this video, but it is dclions, dclions at gmail.com. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything else, please let us know at that contact information. Uh, so be safe, be well, remember your health is your wealth right now, and thanks a lot, and have a great day.